Now see in this example, you have to calculate gravitational force. What is the magnitude of gravitational force between the earth and 1 kg object on the surface of earth? See, suppose you have taken earth like this, this is the center of earth and here is 1 kg object. Distance between object and center of earth is, this is capital R which we can take as a radius of earth. So, see here radius of earth you that will be given to you in question 6400 kilometers that is equal to 6.4 into 10 raised to power 6 meter. Similarly, mass of earth that will also be given to you 6 into 10 raised to power 24 kg. So, there are two objects one is earth and one is this distance between them is given to you masses of both the objects are given to you value of capital G we can use 6.67 into 10 raised to power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. Now, apply formula F is equal to G m 1 m 2 divided by R square. See here in place of R we can write radius of earth. So, 6.67 into 10 raised to power minus 11 into 6 into 10 raised to power 24 into 1 divided by 6.4 into 10 raised to power 6 square forces here. So, we have to write unit Newton only. So, now if you solve all these things you do all these calculations yourself you will be getting F is equal to 9.8 Newton. So, when 1 kg mass is placed on the surface of earth force acting on the 1 kg mass is 9.8 Newton. So, we can calculate gravitational force like this. Now, we can see here another that you can take example or you can say conceptual part also. Suppose there is earth, this I have taken as earth, its center is over here, this is O. If you place any object over here, this mass is 1 kg. Whatever is the distance, we do not know, we have written the distance r. If you calculate the force between them, so suppose this is mass m and this is mass capital M, distance is r, f is equal to g m into m upon r square. This is a gravitational force, this is a mutual force. It means whatever this object applies force on earth, earth also applies same force on the object. So, this force for both the objects are equal, but if you drop this object, release this object from a height, you will find the object fall downward. But earth does not move upward. This every day you can do this ex exercise. You take a stone drop from a height, a stone will fall downward, earth will never go up, why it is so. See here, as I have told you, gravitational force is a mutual force, both objects are experiencing same forces, but there is a difference in the masses of the object. So, we can write F is equal to m into a which law is this? Newton's second law of motion. So, we can write A is equal to F upon M. In both the cases force is same, masses are different. So, out of these two, which one has got greater mass? Earth obviously, earth has got much more mass as compared to this 1 kg. So, if mass is very large, acceleration will be very less. So, acceleration produced in the earth is very very less that is almost negligible, but acceleration produced in the mass of 1 kg is much larger. So, we can observe only the acceleration of this 1 kg, we cannot observe acceleration of earth. So, that is why we say whenever any object is dropped from a height only the stone that object falls down earth does not move upward.